rocket launches have inspired and enthralled since the dawn of the space age. Today, we're adding to that majesty. Uh, well, uh, David, what are you doing? I just want to try out the basic idea here for a liquid nitrogen powered rocket. Ah, okay then, please proceed. So first, I need to put a couple of gallons of warm water into this bottle here. This is going to be the body of my rocket. The water is going to be the fuel. In this tank here, I've got a liquid nitrogen. I'm going to use the liquid nitrogen when it turns into a gas to blow the water out of this bottle and end up making it a rocket. I'm hoping it will explode and the gas then produced will push the water out of the bottom. Newton's third law says the rocket will then go upwards. And wait for it to... I think I know how we can improve that version. So, time to build a better rocket, right from scratch. First thing we're going to need, fins for the rocket. What I'm trying to do is make it so that there's a lot of area here, right at the bottom of the rocket. That's what the air is going to push against. If this thing's going off course a little, the air pushes against it, brings it back on course. Here's our rocket. I'm thinking it'd be good to have a backup, so I'm gonna build another one pretty similar to that. Then we'll be ready for launch. Well, got ourselves a couple of rockets. Now it's time to decide which one we're gonna launch first. All right, this one is a little more robust than this one, uh, but this one indeed has its fins set well back, so this is going to be exceptionally stable. And they're both equally aerodynamic. I'm thinking I'm going with this second one that I made here. Okay, so time to launch this baby. And here we go. Well, we did get it off the top of the tube this time. I think it's time to try this other rocket. This time, only half as much water. Let's see if lighter works. Okay, I wanna try this one more time at least, but I got an idea this time. I got hot water that I'm gonna be putting in the rocket this time. I figure that'll get that bottle to explode better because that is our problem. The one time it explodes, I can't get the damn thing into it. All right, gonna make a different attempt here. I can't get more power, so what I've done is lighten the structure to the absolute minimum that I can. Let's see if lightweight works. Well, we did get it off the end of the pole this time. We are making progress. It seems obvious that what we need is more power. So I'm going to be finding bigger, longer bottles so we can use three or four times as much liquid nitrogen. This won't necessarily be the last time you see this. 